We move to the bottom of the first inning from the 49er softball complex on this windy Friday afternoon. Pacific won the first game of this doubleheader 3-2 for Long Beach State. Kim Souter, the head coach, in her sixth season. And for Kim, this is the starting lineup that she will have in game two. It's the same lineup that ended game one. Kim Souter, a great player here for Long Beach State, and now she's the head coach. Shayna Kimbrough will lead things off at short. Sia Neal is the second baseman, and she bats second. Hannah DeGatano hits third. The designated player is Carly Sandoval, Leilani Tapua, Tata Latasi in center. Leilani St. Germain in right. Bree Steffen in left. Ashlyn Booker hits seventh. Excuse me, hits eighth. And then Sarah Carrasco batting ninth. And the pitcher in the circle for the Pacific Tigers is Danny Bonet, wearing number 99. She's a freshman from Peoria, Arizona. She went to high school at Sunrise Mountain, and now she's trying to keep Pacific season alive after Tori Shepard did in game one. We saw Shepard really use her defense in the first game, and we're going to see a lot more of that from Bonet. She throws the ball down, look, trying to get some ground balls out of the hitters, letting her defense work for her. She's also got a great change she can throw with any count, which keeps the batters off balance. Count two and one after that one is fouled off. For Bonet, again a freshman, her record is 10 and seven. She's making her 23rd appearance of the season, her 16th start, 94 and two third innings. Doesn't strike out a lot, only 40 strikeouts. She's walked 44. Opponents are batting 278 against her. The ERA is 3.11. That one's hit sharply into right field and Shayna Kimbrell is on with a single to right field to start off this game for the 49ers. Normally, Bonet would be the game three starter for Pacific, but Nikki yeah, Armagost, one of the top players in the base. nation, the best yeah, hitter and the yeah. number one pitcher for Pacific, injured her knee last week, so she is out this weekend. This is the first time that Long Beach State has seen Bonet, and she's just a freshman. And here is Sia Neal, the number two hitter. Game one, Sia Neal was one for three with a run scored. That one misses as well. 2-0 the count. And Sia Neal is so good in these situations. She really understands the game. She's a very smart hitter. She knows the situation. She's going to try to advance that runner. Pulls the bat back, but it's a called strike. 2-1 and one is the count. Third baseman, Megan Allen, really charging hard. And so far, the second baseman, Alexa Rivera, has been covering second. So if she pulls back, there would be a wide open hole. And there's a hole in left center field. And Sia Neal gets past the charging Megan Allen. First and second, nobody out. The 49ers are in business here in the first inning. You mentioned what a smart hitter that is. And it's almost like... That's exactly where she was planning on hitting. There wasn't, not a big gap between the third baseman, the shortstop, and the left fielder, but she found it perfectly. Well, you see the defense, too, and the way they're playing her. They're pitching her outside. First base is back, so she knows that if she tries to lay down a bunt, that's most likely going to fall into the lap of Allen at third base. So instead, she pulls back and hits it right in that hole. Allen doesn't have time to react when she's playing up so far. Let's see what Hannah DeCatano can do with two on, nobody out, bottom of the first, game two of this doubleheader. And that one's hitting the right center field gap, and that one is going to get down. Around third base is Kimbrough. She will score. They're going to wave. Neal as well. She will score. It's a two-run double for Hannah DeCatano, and the 49ers lead it 2-0. Degatano comes out swinging so aggressive on this first pitch and if you see Bonet just gets that one right over the middle of the plate and Degatano launches that into right center field just a great piece of hitting so three batters and three hits and so it's conference time on the mound they're going to try and settle down the freshman Danny Bonet well and this is where we'll see Armagost being out this is where we'll really see her effect because Shepard just pitched an entire game. 
so they really don't have a whole lot in the in the bullpen to to go to here. UC Santa Barbara was victorious in its first game. We're keeping an eye on that game because for Long Beach State, if they win twice this weekend or if they win once and UC Santa Barbara loses once, then they are the Big West Conference champs. So after the 11th double of the season by Hannah DeGatano scores two, here's the number four hitter, Carly Sandoval. Still nobody out, bottom of the first. Looks like they're taking some good swings against the freshman Bonet. They are, and we talked a little bit last game. Long Beach State looked a little tentative at the plate, kind of waiting on some pitches, really not swinging at the strikes that they normally would swing at, and here they're much more aggressive early in the game. One and one now the count. And Sandoval especially we saw, she has such quick hands. She's really good at getting her bat to the ball. A lot of times doesn't even finish her swing. That one misses outside for Sandoval. She was two for three in the first game, including an RBI single. She also scored a run. And that one misses. Three balls and one strike, now the count. Great hitter count here for Sandoval. And that might have been a generous called strike two. Sandoval is starting to head down to first base. Count is now full. The payoff pitch. Went with something off speed, left it upstairs just a little bit. And so there's runners at first and second with nobody out for Long Beach State. Now batting number seven, point and here's seven the center field, fielder, Leilani, Leilani Tapua Tatalatasi. Tapua Tatalatasi is another athlete that just can do so much at the plate. She's got some power, she's got really good speed, but she'll bunt and slap. With runners in scoring position here, it's gonna to be tough to tough to defend with no outs. Kim Souter's gonna to go to her bench, and we're gonna have a pinch runner. It's gonna be Emily Gregorio, who is gonna go down to second base and run for Hannah DeGatano. In case you're not super familiar with softball, there is the re-entry rule, so DeGatano is not out of this game. Smart move by Souter. She wants to play to run in this first inning and set the tone for Long Beach State. First pitch swinging is Tapua Tatalatasi. She fouls it away. And with Gregorio on second, if Tapua Tatalatasi hits the grass, they've got a good shot at scoring, for, at scoring another run here. Single, single, double walk to begin the bottom of the first. And now that one is bunted foul. Gregorio at second, Sandoval at first with nobody out. That one's way outside. One and two the count. Tapua Tata Latasi in the first game was one for three, single to right, lined out to short and reached on an air. Now the one, two. It's hit in the air to center field. Megan Hom is there to make the catch. And I think that if you're the freshman, Danny Bonet, you're just breathing a sign of relief. Okay, I got an out. So now maybe she can settle in, catch her breath. Okay. Even that out though, I mean, Tapua Tatalatasi hit that ball pretty hard. Bonet has to be careful with the placement of her pitches. This is the right fielder, Nalani St. Germain. Want to know the count to her. The wind was a factor in the first game. The wind is almost always blowing in here at the 49ers softball complex. Two balls and no strikes, the count now. You see the flags there. Probably hear it in our microphones. 
Makes it tough if you get the ball in the air. You really got to hit line drives at this field. Now the count is 3 0. St. Germain has been such a good clutch hitter for Long Beach State. Her average is a little bit down this year, but she still leads the team in RBI. This is exactly who they want up in this situation. A big swing and a miss there. She was trying to do some damage with that swing. You got to be happy with that. 3 0 count, and she was hacking. I know, that's my favorite. That's a hitter's pitch. Swings and misses at that one, and now the count is full, three and two. And now you can really see these last couple of pitches, you see what Bonet can do. She's got a pretty nasty drop ball that just kind of drops off the table last minute, comes over the plate. Left that one upstairs as well, so second walk of the inning. The bases are loaded with one out. Now here's the number seven hitter in this Long Beach State lineup. It's the left fielder, Bree yeah, Steffen. Number 17 playing left field, Bree Steffen. The inning started with a single to right by Shayna Kimbrough, a single to left by Sia Neal, a two-run double by Hannah DeGatano, then a walk, a line out, and another walk have loaded the bases. Chopper, they're gonna go home for one. Tried to go to third instead of first base for the double play, safe at third. Definitely don't see that one very often. I was expecting her to go to first base. Well, the, Stefan has some speed, so in this situation, it's easier for her to just transition her weight and try to get that out at third, assuming that Stefan has already made it to first because she's a pretty good runner. That would have been a very rare 5-2-6 double play as it was the shortstop Mats who came over to cover third, so they cut the run off the plate, still 2 nothing, ripped but foul by Ashlyn Booker. Booker probably has the most power of anyone on this team, just raw power. But with that, she still needs to be able to put that ball in play, and sometimes her swing gets a little bit long. That one misses for a ball, one and one the count. Booker was 0 for 3 in the first game. Struck out swinging, grounded to second, and fouled out to the first baseman, Kelsey Rodriguez, who made a tough play in foul territory. Big swing and the miss there. She was looking for a grand slam. She wanted that pitch, but that's that Bonet drop ball. That's really tough to hit. It looks like it's gonna come right over the plate and just drops out of the zone. That one's ripped foul. That ball might have hit Ashlyn Booker if she hadn't made contact with it. She was way out in front. And here's a look at the drop ball. You can see how that starts over the plate. Booker, that's what she sees, a ball coming right down the middle, right down the guts of the plate, and then it just drops. On the 31st pitch of the inning, it gets past the catcher, play at the plate, safe at home. It is Carly Sandoval on the wild pitch, and Long Beach State leads it 3-0. And Moore, a good defensive catcher. This is pretty uncharacteristic of her for that one to get by. It is a wild pitch. Bonet just doesn't get far enough in front of the plate in time to make that play. She needs to be on the other side of home. Now that one's ripped down the line. That's a fair ball. One run will score easily. Stefan will score easily. It's a two run double for Booker and it's five nothing Long Beach State. Curious to see what Colsey is going to do in this situation. Armagost, potential player of the year, is out. And you see there, that's Booker's power. That pitch is inside and low, and she just gets her bat on it and drives it into left field right up the line. So Long Beach State was quiet in the first game against Tori Shepard, but they've erupted for five runs in the first inning here against the Pacific Tigers. And they've batted around. This is the number nine hitter, Sarah Carrasco. And 
Nikki Armagost in the running for Big West Player of the Year. One of their best hitters and pitchers out. We saw Shepard pitch a game, and here we have Bonet. Curious to see what Colsey's going to do. He doesn't want to wear Shepard out. They've got another game to play tomorrow. Yeah, he he's, doesn't have a whole lot of options. He only has two available pitchers. And again for Pacific, it's do or die. If they lose, their season is over. He knows that. He knew that coming in, that it's a, a pretty far-fetched chance of getting an at-large berth to the NCAA regionals because their RPI just isn't high enough. So the count two and one to Sarah Carrasco. Tough spot for a head coach when you don't have a whole lot of depth in the, in the pitching staff. You don't want to leave your freshman out there, but at the same time, she's got to learn. She's got three more years ahead of her, and she can learn from this situation. And this is a good experience. I mean, these games mean something, and uh, it's really important for players early in their careers to get that kind of big stage, big game experience that can help a team late in the season. And that's going to be a nice catch by Megan Allen in foul territory, but the damage is done. Five runs scored for Long Beach State on four hits. The big hit, Ashland Booker, the two-run double into the left field corner. Dave Gatano also had a two-run double. Big lead for the 49ers. 